guys, it's your boy, Barca Boy 103. We have some absolutely breaking news coming in from Fabrizio Romano, who we all know is the top journalist in the world. He's come out saying that Genie Wijnaldum is set to join Barcelona as a free agent until June 2024. There's no agreement with FC Bayern Munich. He wants to join for Barcelona. Latest details, and then here we go soon. Now, Mateo Marito from Sky Sports, again, another top journalist in the world as well. He's come out back in that same from Romano, saying that breaking news, Genie Wijnaldum is set to join Barcelona as a free agent, and he will sign for three seasons. So Wijnaldum is coming to Barcelona. It looks like it's going to be confirmed very, very soon. And that's another signing for Barcelona, another signing for Juan Laporta. And that does mean that Barcelona have signed another free agent. Now, Romano again has come out saying with a picture on the screen right now saying that here's Wijnaldum's agent at Barcelona. The agreement is set to be completed until June 2024. Confirmed. Gino Wijnaldum is open to accepting a lower wage in order to join Barcelona. Similar to what Aguero did. Latest details will be sorted. Then Gino Wijnaldum will sign as a new Barcelona player. So Wijnaldum He's coming to Barcelona. It is going to be confirmed very, very soon in the next couple of days. Now, you might be wondering, oh, why now them coming? Does that mean that Ronald Coleman is going to stay as a Barcelona manager? And Rack 1 have come out saying that the possible arrival of Gino and is not linked with Ronald Coleman's continuation, despite the sign being a request from his side. So, some reports are coming out saying that, look, why now doing Barcelona has nothing to do with Ronald Coleman staying or not. Same with the members of Pi, of course. But again, why not the Barcelona is confirmed. You have three top sources in the world confirming it. Nothing confirmed quite yet from Barcelona. Most of the Barcelona sources say, look, it's not 100% done, but it's very, very close. But when you have two top sources in the world, and Mateo Marito and Fabrizio Romano coming out saying it's very, very close and almost very much a done deal, it's a done deal in my opinion. Now, I want to give you guys some points on the why not signing. More negatives than positive, but firstly, the future of some midfielders and players in the squad. I think Wijnaldum coming to Barcelona signals the end for Carlos Alinea next season. I think he's probably going to go out on loan again. And of course, Mateo Fernandez is definitely going to be leaving the club this summer. And it also raises concern for Pjanic, Elias Mariba, and Ricky Push. Now, I think if Ronald Coleman stays, Pjanic is 100% out the door. But with Wijnaldum coming in, I think this does signal the end for Pjanic, whether Ronald Coleman stays or not. And Elias Mariba, of course, we all know Mariba's contract ends next summer. Will he sign that new contract when the Wijnaldum's coming in for his spot in the team as well? And of course, Ricky Poch. I think if Ronald Coleman stays, Ricky Poch has to go out on loan. He's going to get next to no miss in this team. Of course, he gets into my team in Barcelona. Of course, I think he should be there rotating with Pedri and all the rest of other players as well. But with Wijnaldum coming in, we all know that Ronald Coleman will not use him whatsoever if Ronald Coleman stays. So if Ronald Coleman stays, I think Ricky Poch will go out on loan. Now, the second point about Wijnaldum is, of course, if Ronald Coleman stays, he will be a starter. And whose starting spot will he take in the team? Will he take Busquets' role or will he take Pedri? I do believe he'll take Pedri's role. I think he's not a CDM, of course. Busquets as that single pivot is one of the best players in the world. I think he's going to come for Pedri's spot. I think it's going to be a midfield three of Busquets, De Jong, and Wijnaldum. Does that really work? I'm not too sure. Maybe Ronald Coleman will switch to the 4-2-3-1. Of course, a new manager comes in. It's going to be, you know, open scenarios, different, you know, options. But right now, as Ronald Coleman is the manager, I do believe he'll be coming in for Pedri's spot. And we're going to play a midfield three of Busquets, De Jong, and Wijnaldum. Is it really an upgrade from Busquets to Rakitic Vidal? I'm not too sure, but again, it's up to the club. It's, you know, it is what it is. And the third point about Wijnaldum signing is, of course, Ronald Coleman and Depay. I think with Wijnaldum coming in, I think Depay is going to be very, very eager to join as well. We all know that Depay is very, very close to Barcelona. And with Wijnaldum signing, I think that'll be, you know, the seal deal for Depay. I'll see Wijnaldum coming in and yep, I'm coming to Barcelona as well. And, of course, Ronald Coleman. I do believe now Ronald Coleman is closer to staying in Barcelona than he is leaving. Of course, there is a meeting scheduled today between Juan Laporta and Ronald Coleman. As of recording this video, the meeting has not happened quite yet. But again, Depay is going to be looking at Wijnaldum coming into Barcelona. He's going to be looking at the manager. He's going to be Dutch, Ronald Koeman. One of the best Dutch players in the world right now. And De Jong at Barcelona, he's going to be coming to Barcelona for sure. So Depay, his side will be seen in the next few days as well. Now, the next point about Wijnaldum joining Barcelona is that it tells me that Barcelona's financial situation is very, very bad. The fact that Juan Laporta is getting rid of old players and bringing in new old players on a lower salary just tells you that he's, you know, has his hand tied behind his back. Of course, this is all on Bartomeu having this team in absolute disarray. You have players who don't want to leave. Yeah, this, this is what Juan Laporta has to work with. He has to get rid of these old players, you know, the 30-plus-year-olds, bring in Wijnaldum, who is the same age, but on way, way, way lower wages. The fact that Wijnaldum right now currently earns around 5 million euros at Liverpool for, per year, of course, he's going to be coming into Barcelona earning less than that, or maybe around three is being reported at the moment. Just shows you how bad the financial situation is at Barcelona. And the final point that I want to bring up, which is a positive point, that he could be a very similar sign to Paulinho, that old player, you know, coming to the end of his career, he has, you know, a few years left in him, comes in as that powerhouse midfielder, of course, back in 2017, we paid 40 million euros for Paulinho. He came in, he did very, very well, then we sold him the next year for a profit. Could be that same thing. Of course, when I'm coming in on a free deal, low wages coming in as that powerhouse midfielder, works very hard up and down the pitch, stamina unreal as well. One of the best players in the world as a versatile player, can play as a number six, number eight, number 10. So that's definitely one of the positive points of this deal, but Wijnaldum is gonna be coming to Barcelona this summer, of course. 
Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think it's a good deal? Do you think it's a very bad deal? Do you think it's, you know, it's the okay deal? Do you think it's a deal that's in retrospect with what we have at the moment, what's available on the market? It's not too bad. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you slap a like on it. And of course, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and Forza Barca.